Schaffner, welcome, welcome to my channel. Today's video is a thread up unboxing. This is a rescue box and it is filled with seven pairs of shoes. It's like Christmas here at my house. I am a shoe fanatic. If you don't know me, I would like to welcome you. Hello, I am so glad that you stopped by my channel and I really hope that you will subscribe and join me for a future video. To my returning subscribers, hi everyone. I am so glad that you have joined me today. So ThreadUp is a online consignment store and it's my understanding, and correct me if I'm wrong, that the rescue boxes are filled with pieces that either expired in their allotted consignment time or they are pieces that ThreadUp did not accept for whatever reason, be that the brand or the condition of the shoes. And when you buy one of these, they specifically tell you that these pieces may need some TLC. I'm just crossing my fingers. They don't need too much TLC. I did unbox a handbag rescue from ThreadUp. It was fabulous. The condition of the bags that I received was really nice. I kept about half of those bags for myself. I just want one pair of shoes for me in this box. The rest of the shoes I will list if they are fit to be listed on my Poshmark closet. The cost of this box is $40. I did order it when there was a special, so I did not have to pay shipping. I did have a little credit. Thank you to everyone that has used my ThreadUp link. It's in the description box below. If you're new to ThreadUp, you can get $10 credit towards your first box or towards your first order. You don't even have to get a rescue box. You can just order something from ThreadUp. So thank you to everyone that has used my link. So you guys really support my channel by using my links. So. so I did do the math and I can't remember the figure, but the cost per pair of shoes is less than $3. I think the number came to, I want to say $2.83. I'll put it on the screen right here. Put it on the screen. This is my cost. The cost was great, but let's just cross our fingers. There's some great pieces in this box. Now I did cut the tape. Let's see. Let me show you what the inside looks like. Can you see it? We do have the invoice here and this is what it looks like. Okay. All right. can see here all of the shoes are individually wrapped. I can't even peek at them at this moment so I will unwrap them with you. I'm going to try them all on and if you stick around to the very end I will give you my final thoughts on every single piece. Okay let's start with these. Number one sealing deals since 2009. These look feel. I'm gonna try to save the tissue. Maybe not. Okay so the first pair is a pair of slide loafers. That's what they look like. The brand is a new day. I have these shoes in black. Yeah, this exact same shoe. And I believe the original price on these shoes was around the $20 price point, maybe $24. These are very comfortable. I enjoy my black ones. Let's see, what does the condition look like? Okay, there's a little scuff right there. They look like they're in pretty good shape. There's a little dirt, so there was some wear, but these can be easily cleaned up. This is a faux leather shoe, and it's not expensive, but I do like the shoe. Everyone focus on great brands, great brands, great brands. Here is shoe number two. What do we have? Okay, this feels cheap. Um, okay, let's look at the brand. Oh. The brand is Forever 21, and yeah, I, I can just feel that this is like a faux suede. We do have, see those, oh, look at that, all the strings coming off the ties, and I guess these probably lace around the leg, and yeah, this is, yeah, okay. So, do you get the picture? Let's see. They do have some wear on them. So they're dirty, but I mean, they're in okay condition. A little bit of wear, but I just need to go through and trim all of these strings. That is, that's kind of disappointing. So I'm guessing those cost less than $20. 
brand new as well. Okay, will everyone focus on great brands, great brands, great brands? Let's give me a good brand here. Okay, let's try this big one. And okay, I can see here something metallic. I see that I can't read the brand. Okay, this one is a pair of tennis shoes. This is by the brand Reebok, and these are pretty dirty, and they need to be cleaned up. But a little bit of scuffing on the leather. This is a metallic leather, so this looks like a tennis shoe that I would wear because I love everything metallic. But oh, they even have the tag inside, which is crazy. Like, why didn't the person take the tag out? But the inside doesn't look bad at all. Sometimes you get a lot of pilling on the inside of tennis shoes, and I don't really see that. There's some, so there is some pilling. And so, yeah, that's what these look like. They're okay. More scuffing there and really dirty. So these have to be cleaned up, whether I keep them or sell them, they need to be cleaned. Okay. okay, super brands, super brands. More tennis shoes, let's see. Oh, okay, these are Nike, which, oh, these are, these look like they're in really nice condition. Uh, so they're kind of pretty, and they have very little wear on them, but I can tell they have been worn because there's dirt in the tread. But, okay, so they are like a cloth shoe, and then they're plastic here, and we've got the swoosh there. Yeah, these look pretty good. This is a training, the Nike training. Oh, lots and lots of pilling in the back there, and that's probably just sock pilling that is on that shoe, but okay. So these are okay, I might be able to sell these. When I buy gym shoes like this, I actually purchase my gym shoes one size up and a complete size up so that there's lots and lots of room for my toes so I won't be keeping a gym shoe. I kind of like these. What are we in? We're in four and we don't have any fabulous brands yet. Okay, Nike is good, Reebok is good. I'm going to remain hopeful. Let's see, okay, next shoe. There's the next one. Uh, that is a sequin shoe. Okay, here is the next shoe, and this is by the brand White House Black Market, and that is a black sequin, but it's black on one side and then silver on the other. You see how that goes? Um, let's see. It's what the toes look like, and very little wear on the heel. This is what the bottom looks like. So not a whole lot of wear on these shoes. Let's see this one. Same thing, the toe there, it looks okay. The heel looks all right. Um, these don't look comfortable, do they? They look really, really stiff. This is a sequined upper and a synthetic sole. I think these are a really pretty shoe, perfect for the holidays. It's not a super pointy toe, but yeah, this is a pretty one. Next, it looks like we've got some boots, so that's fun. That would be great for the season at hand. These look like Steve Madden. Do you agree with me? Let's see what they are. Are you Steve Madden or are you nobody? No, these are, I don't know if you're going to be able to see it. These are Charlotte Roofs. This is probably all man-made. These are still really cute. I like the color on these, kind of a brown color. They do look kind of distressed. This is not leather. Let's see if the zippers work. Come on, please work. Please work. Yes. Okay, the zipper works on that one. The soles look really good. Very nice. And... This is something that's kind of a concern. There's a tongue on the inside and it doesn't stay in place. I mean, it's a really long, like fabric tongue. I don't know, I, maybe if you lace that up really tight, the tongue will stay in place, but okay. All right, and here's the other one. Look at that heel. That's like a faux wood heel. Again, what is that? The soles look good. We have one more pair of shoes. Let's see. <coughs> Ooh, 
We have these boots. Ooh, ooh, you see it. There's something there. That, I don't know what that is. I don't want to touch it. Should I touch it? Should I touch it? Yeah, it's it, it's actually a stain or something. Ugh, something's there. Sorry. Um, so that's a job for my husband to see if he can clean that up. And it probably will clean out very easily. It looks like something was spilled on it. And so suede cleaner, a suede brush, and brush that up. Otherwise... They look like they're in good shape. They're kind of a substantial boot, but I love the heel on them. And okay, what's the brand? Very volatile. Okay, that's a that's a Nordstrom brand. I know they sell these at Nordstrom. They're not real expensive. I think that let's check. Okay, very volatile Los Angeles. They also have, they came with pet hair inside of that. Which this is a pet friendly house, but if I decide to sell these, that's another challenge I have to face. This is a leather upper and the balance of it is man-made, made in China. So I do love the funky heel. I like this fringe accent. I really hope that we can get the stain out of them. They look like they're in fairly good condition though. That's what they look like. Did I get my money's worth? I got at least $20 worth of tissue paper. Wouldn't you agree? Do you reuse your tissue paper? And if so, how do you use it? Do you stuff your shoes? Do you stuff your purses? What do you do with your polka dotted tissue paper? Can you tell which shoes are my favorite? Great shoes make you feel like dancing, jumping, running. I mean, that has never changed with me ever since I was a kid. I put on great shoes and it makes me want to move. The first pair, the Forever 21 shoes, these are just a disappointment. I think they're cute. The style is cute, but they're really, really cheap shoe. I did take the scissors and try to trim the strings off of these, but it just, keeps unraveling. So you know what I'm going to do with these? I'm going to throw them in the trash. I could donate them, but I really want to make sure that there is never a young lady that ends up with these shoes and wears them to an event and her shoes just unravel as she wears them. So unfortunately, these are going to the landfill. They need to. It's a shame that they didn't spend just a little bit more to use quality materials to make these, but yeah, they're they're not comfortable. They're cute, not comfortable, and really, really cheap. Trash. The next shoes, a new day. Guys, I like these shoes. I own these shoes in black. I wear these shoes in black. I call these shoes my Gucci dupes, and yeah, cheap Gucci dupes, but they're very comfortable. They're simple. I think white shoes make my feet look incredibly large, and I'm not a big fan of white shoes for myself. That These are cute. They're not expensive. I will list these in my Poshmark closet, and I, I might be able to get $10 or $12 for them if I can. That will make me happy. I think someone is going to enjoy these because I certainly enjoy these in black. The next pair, the White House Black Market. Aren't these pretty? And you know what else? These are comfortable too. The heel on these is about three and a half inches, but they're very comfortable. They have plenty of room in the toe bed and no toe cleavage, which I appreciate. I did notice, let me show you here. Can you see there's some separation right here and it's on both shoes. And I suspect that happened because these were probably not stored in a box and maybe they just had other shoes on top of them or something like that. It's in both shoes. I will disclose that and I'm going to list these fabulous shoes in my Poshmark closet. These would be a great holiday shoe and even with a pair of denim for the holidays. I love to wear a flashy shoe with denim during the holiday season so I'm not going to keep these because I have plenty of crystal and sequin shoes. But yeah, these are, I'm, I'm happy receiving these. The next shoes, the Reeboks, these are really, really comfortable. These kind of feel like a Kelly shoe. I was concerned about 
how it feels to wear someone else's tennis shoes because I don't really think I ever have worn used tennis shoes. And I think I could not feel someone's foot impression inside of these shoes. I like these a lot. They're a nice soft leather. They are dirty. They need to be cleaned up. But I do have metallic tennis shoes. So I think I will clean these, make them look beautiful and I think I'll list these on Poshmark. I have no idea what they're worth but I think they're in decent shape and yeah hopefully someone else is going to enjoy metallic shoes as just as much as I enjoy metallic tennis shoes. Okay next up are the Nikes and yeah these are cute. I mean they're in really really good condition. I'm not a Nike girl. I wear Brooks tennis shoes and I wear Under Armour and I think Nikes when I look at my feet in Nikes I think my feet look funny but that's just me. So I've never really I've owned Nike. I'm just not really crazy about them. These are in very good condition. They do have the pilling inside so I'm going to have to clean those up and clean up the bottoms just a a little bit. I will list these. I'll do a little research and see if I can figure out what the style is on these. If you know, please leave it in the comments. I would love a little help with the Nikes because I'm not a Nike girl, but yeah, I will list these in my Poshmark closet. Next up, the Charlotte Russe. Should we call these a combat boot? I don't know. Um, they remind me a little bit of that style. Guys, look at the color on these. They're a brown. They do have a slight... I want to say an olive tint to them. These are very, very comfortable. They're in really good shape too. I, I think these are super comfortable. I'm thinking about keeping these. I will probably wear them, maybe. I gotta think about it. Do I want to keep these? Do I want to sell these? These are really fabulous. I'm, <laughs> I feel bad that I kind of dissed them because they were Charlotte Russe because they're all man-made material. This is a vegan leather. I'm sure this is just a plastic sole, plastic heel, but they're very comfortable. They're really cute. They're kind of a trendy boot. They're easy to get into. The tongue stayed in place. I have no complaints about these Charlotte Russe boots. If I sell them in my Poshmark closet, I'm not gonna make a bunch of money with this boot, but I like the boot. This is, yeah, this turned out to be a great boot that I got from Threda. And the last boots are the very volatile boots. You guys know I love the fringe on these. Let me show you the shape of the heel. You can see that. So there is heel wear here, but the shape makes these actually feel like you're wearing a heel. You don't have a whole lot of support there. These are really fun. A really fun boot. They are made of suede leather and this is a stacked block heel. It is pretty high but you can see it's almost like a wedge. These are really very very comfortable. I would say that these might, these are a size 8, but they might run a little bit large. I had a thick sock on when I tried these but I still had plenty of room. These are cute. Should I keep any of these shoes? Which were your favorites in this thread up box? This shoe rescue box is a lot of fun. I love the surprise and the mystery and opening a box that I have no idea. It's a gamble. It is definitely a gamble and I did not get a royal flush in this box. I got some nice shoes though. I mean, I got some lower end shoes with the Target and the Charlotte Russe, but both of those shoes are both comfortable and I like them. They're trendy styles, so that is kind of nice. I mean, I got some Nike, I got the White House Black Market. The Reebok are incredibly comfortable and I believe they're trendy. And I don't know, the very volatile, I really don't know what to think about those and I might not have to think about them because they do have that great big gigantic stain on them and I have to see if I can get the stain out. If I can, I will have those shoes listed in my Poshmark closet. My Poshmark closet is linked below in the description box and there is also a code if you're new to Poshmark and you sign up using my code, you get a little credit towards your first purchase. So feel free to use my code if you like. Thank you very much for joining me for this unboxing. It has always fun to share my shoes, my clothes, my accessories with you. Thank you very much for watching. Could I get you to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it? Make sure you're subscribed. Come back for the next video. I can't wait to see you again. Blessings to all of you.